bloody in forest token occur with as little as 100 mils of rain if it falls at the right time and the right place. So we've got to be very cautious. We've got a community development association which meets once a month. People can attend that and we have new people come and then they find out what happens in the town. What we're trying to do now is to make people aware that Forest Hill can flood and you can get cut off. Another thing is um, new people that come to the town, they like to come downtown and come to the pubs for dinner or the cafes and you get to know them and that's how they learn about what happens where they're living. Also the disaster dashboard on um, council has some great updates all around Australia. Councils have a disaster dashboard which is a great, great for people who don't know the area and for people who do know the area as well. Floods don't happen immediately in this town. If we have a major fall upstream, it takes six hours for the water to get into town. So we do have a little bit of time, but the important thing is to know that that water's coming. To watch the Lockyer Valley Regional Council's website, to watch the stream flow cameras, the water heights, and to be in contact with people upstream. Facebook is an awesome mechanism to get the word out. We have a strong community who are very keen to see their town uh, benefit from good communication, benefit from, benefit from good action. So once the word goes out, it's important that people act and, and implement their plan of lifting stuff off the ground, getting their cars onto higher ground. When we first came into Forest Hill, we were made aware that it was a flood zone. Um, we came from Logan Reserve. We had never actually experienced a flood before we came here. We wanted to get information about the town. Well, the easiest way was to go to the pub and meet local people and communicate with them, ask them questions about what happens when it floods, what do you do, where do you go? Um, so that information was freely given to us by locals, which was fantastic because it, it did prepare us for what was coming. We didn't expect that we would have a flood that quick, that soon after moving in, but the flood came and we didn't panic because the local people were fantastic. They came around and said, look, the water's rising, um, you better get ready. So we started to put things up. We started to move things that were movable to high ground which we were told was at where the silos are. So we took our motorbikes and other things that we could easily move over there. And most of our things were up out of the flood water. So it was fantastic. If we hadn't have had that um, contact with local people, we wouldn't have known any of that. So I would say to anyone that is new, that comes to a place that, that floods, meet people, go and ask them questions about what happens when it floods, what to do, because they have the most experience because they've lived through it. Um, and they will, you know, they'll help you. And especially here in Forest Hill, you know, people are willing to, to help in probably any way that they can. Come into town, meet people, go up to the pub, go to the cafes, meet the local people in the town, and find out what happens when the flood comes and what they do. Gain that information so that you can be prepared because if you're not prepared, you're going to be stuck right in the midst of it.